is it a sin to have sex am i a whore if i have sex will i get pregnant if he doesn't come these are just some of the thoughts and concerns i had before i had sex for the first time i basically answer these questions through trial and error and also doing lots of google research so in today's video i'm here to tell you things i wish i knew before i had sex for the first time and just a note when i say sex i mean like vaginal sex oral sex other types of sex i'm just referring to sex in general as like being intimate with somebody trigger warning there is some discussion on non-consensual sex in this video so if you want to skip to the timestamp below you can skip over this section and listen to the rest of the video so the very first thing first and foremost that i want to get out there and let you all know and things that i wish i could tell myself back then before i had sex was that you are allowed to say no at any time let me repeat that again because it is so important you can say no at any time does not matter if you had said yes previously doesn't matter if you already started it doesn't matter if they really want you to keep going doesn't matter if you think you might have gave up the vibe that you kind of want to do it doesn't matter if you're just tired or something you're allowed to say no and stop at any time and that other person should respect you if they don't respect you then you should not be having sex with that person and that person should not make you feel bad for not wanting to do it they should not force you to answer why and to the people if someone's saying they don't want to or indicating they don't want to through body language language or something don't do it stop because sex is consensual and I wanted to bring up this topic just because throughout my life this is something I'm still working on is being able to say no like sex, I really wish that someone had sat me down before I had sex and said this to me and said hey you could say no my explanation needed you don't have to keep going no matter what the situation is and that's something that throughout there have been several times where I've been with people and maybe I didn't really feel like doing it just because I was tired or because I was sad or I was mad at them or I just didn't really feel like doing it but yeah I was kind of like well like you know whatever I want them to be happy or maybe it'll help the situation if we just do it or like I don't really want to but like whatever I guess I'll just do it for reasons so and I never felt good after that I was like wow I just did it but I really enjoy it and I don't really feel like doing it so it's like that brings up a bunch of feelings so I just wanted to help hopefully prevent that from happening by letting you all know that you can say no and it's something that's hard to work on especially in this world that we live in where a lot of times women are told that we need to please other people and be people pleasers and like in a place where we're objectified it's just like there's a whole lot of things that kind of contribute to why it might be tricky for you to feel like you can say no and obviously if you don't feel safe saying no that's something else to talk about and discuss really want you all to know just this first very important point that you can say no at any time for any reason and i want to point out here that if you or someone you know has experienced assault please look up the rain national hotline i'll link their website below they are the rape and incest national network and you can call them or look at their website they have lots of resources there is also something called a non-emergency number and you can actually call that for your state and then give you lots of resources to point you in directions of either phone numbers or websites where they can help you with your specific problem if it is emergency then you can also dial 911 so the second thing is to learn all about your protection options when i say protection i mean protection against birth and protection against std so once i started becoming sexually active i did not use birth control or protection of any sort for stds and so i started thinking about those things after i started becoming intimate i was like you know maybe these are things i should think about and research and kind of see which one's best for me and if you are even thinking about sex sometimes it's hard to predict definitely good to think about them before you have sex so then you can be protected before you do it because i definitely was of the mindset when I was having sex like for the first time like oh, you know they talk about all those STDs but probably won't happen to me right I probably won't get pregnant what are the chances yeah like so I was thinking I was an invincible person but I am not and either of those things could have happened to me but I got very lucky and they did not happen to me and then now I'm on birth control pills so it's just better to be protected from the beginning I think it's very important that you teach yourself and not get information about birth control and STDs so you can be safe when you're having sex on that note I wish I knew that asking for a STD test will not ruin the mood. I seriously just felt so uncomfortable talking about sex in general. So actually, it's only been recently, like two years ago, where I made a New Year's resolution and it was one, I'm going to ask everyone for an STD test, no matter what, before we do it. And I recommend doing it maybe before you get in heat, but if it's in heat, that's okay too, because recently what's been happening, I'll just be making out with someone and then I'll be like, mm, oh, hey, by the way, I would love to know if you have your STD test just so we could be safe and stuff. So we don't um you know get any uh, diseases just to be cool and sure i'm a little awkward but you know i get it out there and then usually they'll just pull up their tests and that'll be great and then also use it condoms helpful as well to protect against std 
these because you don't know if they down someone else since they did the test so just be wary of that and also pay attention to how they react to that because that's also a good screener if you want to engage in sexual activity with them because i've had people tell me all the excuses oh <laughs> my ethnicity doesn't get stds oh you know i would never do that to you like i don't be using condoms but don't worry i'm careful i've only done it with one person so it's unlikely i have an std oh so people be saying everything under the sun to try to convince you to have sex with them and not worry about that test so honestly if they do that that's a red flag like red flag sound the alarm they should be open and honest and be like hey you know what i don't have my test but i understand it's important to you and to me as well so let me go get a test that we could postpone for a second or we can just make out today so that's a good way to screen and see what's up with this person before you do it and also just to be safe have safe sex because honestly safe sex is great sex <laughs> like that same note is just that having an std is not the end of the world like i feel like school and society stigmatizes it a lot like oh if you have an std you're disgusting you're gross so you're doing people that are indecent with you what does that even mean but they say all the wild shit about it but like a lot of them are curable and if you do get one like doesn't mean you're any less of a person and doesn't mean you did someone who was gross or that you're gross or any of that stuff that people stigmatize people with scds with someone i know got one just because she had sex with someone and then that person she had sex with got a call from someone and said hey i got an std then y'all know i got chlamydia and then he told her as you should and then he, she took some pills and it was gone and then you know she had to tell her partners that she had been with since that person so yeah honestly that's one of the reasons that like propels me to ask for std tests and learn about protection and stuff because i'm like that would be so awkward to, to like call the people i've been with and be like yeah i got an std so there you go it's very important that you do that by the way you need to call the people that you did and tell them so they don't keep spreading it and it's kind of awkward but it's the right thing to do but to avoid that awkwardness and conversation it's just better to be protected from the start but yeah i do wish that people let me know that stds are not the end of the world honestly the last thing i wish someone told me is that sex does not have to be this super scary like oh my god like if i have sex it's in the, the world what if i want to have sex before i get married well i guess you just have to be prepared to die everyone's gonna hate me i'm just disgusting and gross and moral like no sex is a natural exploration like it's totally normal to explore and it's an experience that when we're equipped with the right education knowledge and tools can be really awesome and actually not too scary i mean you might be a little scared because i know i was nervous i was like okay like you know i've never done this thing we're trying something new this is interesting <laughs> it's not so scary that like you're gonna die and your whole life's gonna fall apart and the world is going to end so I just want to let you all know and wish I could tell myself that hey it's it's okay to have sex like try to relax and enjoy it and just be the normal amount of like nervousness slash like excitement slash trying something new. I'm really excited this video thank you all so much for watching I hope this was helpful like honestly I feel like wow I just wish I could go back to tell myself before I started having sex like all these things like hey girl watch this video watch it it'll help you it'll like improve your sex life and it'll, you'll have a lot less shame around it which is nice like who wants to be ashamed and embarrassed of this thing that's like you know just a natural part of life like if you do or don't do it or just want to explore it like please like and subscribe and leave a comment below on something that you wish you knew your first time and if you have any more questions about it definitely feel free to leave a comment below about that too and i hope that you all have a great week and i'll see you in the next one bye